country is dysfunctional. Like any of Nicolas Cage's four marriages, we got to split up. We could flip a coin for who gets stuck with Florida. Otherwise, the next show we all Netflix and chill is going to be our own civil war. It would go like this. We'd see the Democrats airdrop acai bowls with a sprinkle of bee pollen into its fleet of Vespas and hybrid Prius, right? With like coexist stickers on their recycled helmets. The commander would go, the enemy's approaching quick. Somebody make me a soy latte. And in come the conservatives on their monster truck tanks, cranking Black Sabbath. Here comes Iron Man, nibbling on like deer carcass they just salted with their gunpowder. Then the Democrats send over a little note like, hey, like, do you guys think we could settle all this maybe with like a skit contest or a, how about a talent show? And so we do that. We have a left versus right Olympiad, like a game show. Six members of a real Texan militia up against six real live liberals from Los Angeles. And each side has to do tasks that normally the other side would do. So for instance, Team Militia has 60 seconds to bake a fluffy, gluten-free brownie and to then correctly identify a person who is sexually non-binary while Team Liberal has to shoot at a moose and then chug a glass of milk. No nut alternatives, no lactose intolerant milk. And then, in the final flash round, a member of Team Militia has like a realization when he goes, oh my God, I'm gender fluid. And a member of Team Liberal cocks and fires an assault rifle and quotes from scripture and then goes, holy shit, that felt good. And in the end, both sides hug it out together and they realize we're not so different as they share pieces from the gluten-free brownie. They get tickets to go and see Kid Rock. All of this fighting and all of this drama, it makes my heart hurt. I think it does a, a lot of us, really. I don't know how long I can handle this. Maybe it's time to go down and buy that titty bar in Haiti.